Hello guys, this is a demo to show you how you can debug your embedded Mono virtual machine scripts using Mono Develop, but uh, the same procedure applies to Visual Studio on Windows as well. I have a demo application called Bootstrap. Uh, this is a Linux machine, but uh, as I said, the same procedure applies to Windows and Visual Studio. Uh, I'm going to show you what I have, there are a bunch of C++ and header files here which embed the Mono virtual machine into a C++ application and uh, just to show you that this application compiles and works, I'm going to run this G++ command which builds the bootstrap application. And as you can see it is built and it is called bootstrap. You can see that it runs and it needs me to pass some command line options. Right, so the program is ready. Uh, the script which this program, the C sharp script which this program is going to load is currently being edited in mono develop. It's a very simple loop which goes around and keeps basically waiting for a command from the user. Uh, you have two options, you can type R or Q. R would basically reload this same script and uh, continue running the C++ application without any breaks and Q would quit from the C++ application bootstrap application completely. Um, just to show you that this is going to work. Um, I'm going to run this. Uh, now I have a custom uh, build of Mono installed at this location and so I'm going to run uh, the Bootstrap application like so. Uh, right, so as you can see right now the application says that it cannot connect to the debugger port. And that is because uh, we are not running the debugger. Uh, this is a manual step which you would need to take if you are trying to debug your embedded Mono virtual machine. I'm going to show you. You basically give Mono Develop or Visual Studio the port number and an IP address. In in our case, this is the local local machine. Uh, it could be a remote machine as well, which is a great feature. And you click on Listen and the environment starts listening to any process that tries to run and communicate with that debug port. And here we go, as you can see we've got uh, the C++ application running, it has loaded embedthings.dll into the C++ application as a C sharp assembly. This DLL is not a Windows, uh, an old school Windows DLL, but uh, the DLL which is built from our script. So, uh, just as a quick test, I press R here and it reloads the DLL and prints out the message hello. If I press type quit, it says bye bye. So, we reload the application, but again, our debugger is not running. We are trying to debug our script so we go and say listen again and here's our application now let's see if the reload works we would like to print a message and see that the reload is working uh, so this message can be something like going to debug this line. So I press build. We are actually building the DLL again. I press reload. It has reloaded. Now if I try to reload you will see the new message being printed instead of saying reloading blah 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 down to hello we have 
going to debug this line blah 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 down to hello so this is new and uh, the, the the demo so far is showing you that we have successfully reloaded the C sharp DLL the mono assembly if like without shutting down the C++ program this is what I call hot reloading of a script now let's try and actually debug that line basically you want to stop at this line I'm simply putting a breakpoint here and you would like to also stop just before the reload function as well and maybe you would like to also stop just before printing the bye bye message here we go so as you can see the C++ application is completely stopped now because we've hit this breakpoint in mono develop now if I press play it will go to the next line and you can see that on the command line the message has been printed which is coming from this line line 37 and we are waiting to do the actual reload operation so I continue and as you would expect we are expecting another input from the user if I press quit it says bye bye and we did not hit this breakpoint here now it's important to notice that when you actually reload your DLL this breakpoint the breakpoints that you have set might actually not work anymore because uh, now you're working with a new uh, DLL uh, which would need new breakpoints set at runtime however uh, I can show you the same line being debugged if I go to custom press on listen again and run the application now this time without reloading I can say hit a breakpoint here quit and now you can see that we have hit the breakpoint again uh, if you reload this DLL if you rebuild and reload this DLL at runtime while your C++ application application is running you will need to set the breakpoints again and now here is a demo that explains exactly how the manual debugging works using mono develop and uh, as i mentioned earlier visual c++ thank you